Hey, what's up and welcome everyone to another Warzone video and I wasn't really planning on making a video today, but a new gun dropped all of a sudden. I don't know what happened. As you can see in the background, like we've got snow. The, the whole theme of Warzone has changed and alongside it, the Street Sweeper fully automatic shotgun has entered into Warzone and Cold War and it is nuts. So a lot of people are having issues getting this to, to show up in their screen. Some of my buddies on PC still can't get it. Make sure you, you know, update your client, make sure you update your game close it, reset a couple of times, but eventually it'll appear. So this video, here's what we're going to do for you. I'm going to show you my first impressions of the gun. I'm going to show you a first look at it. And then I'm going to show you what all of the attachments are at the very end of the video. So make sure to hang around for that. Later on tonight, I'm going to be giving you a max level guide for this gun. I'm going to take it into the war zone. I'm going to drop a banger of a game with it. And we're going to tell you whether or not it's viable, if I like it and how to kit it out. But as with most things in war zone, when it's a brand new gun, they tend to make it pretty solid. But here's what it is. It is the Street Sweeper Shotgun. It is a primary weapon in Warzone. It is a secondary weapon in Cold War. And uh, here's what she looks like. A very rustic, nothing fancy about it. Drum mag, fully automatic shotgun. Now, in order to unlock this gun, what you need to do is you need to go into a Warzone match and get a three kill streak in 15 different matches with a Cold War shotgun. Now, fortunately, if you've already been working towards this, let's say you've you know, picked up the, the Hauer or the Gallo in previous games, you may already actually be close to this. If you use the SA-12 in the game, you may actually already have this unlocked. Because when I first got this, it said I was already like 7 out of 15 complete. So it tracks your progress. The best way to do it, you're going to see what I'm doing in the background, is I'm just going into Superstore in Plunder. And as soon as I get a 3 kill streak, I just back out and restart the next lobby. I really wouldn't suggest going into Alcatraz or into the main game. Because frankly, it's going to take a long time to get your load out. And then if you don't get a 3 kill streak and you're trying to force it, then you're just going to get frustrated. Run into Plunder. Fair warning. A lot of other people are doing it. So maybe pop some dead silence or pop a, you know, some stopping power. But it's going to be a little bit of a grind tonight because everybody is going to be running shotguns. But that's how you unlock it. I'm going to jump over right now and show you my first impressions of when I unlock this gun. And then also show you my first impressions of getting kills in Warzone with it. Then finally, we're going to wrap up with all of the attachments and kind of getting through how the attachments affect the gun specifically. All right, ladies and gentlemen, so here we are dropping in for our very first time, taking a look at the Street Sweeper Shotgun. I haven't shot it, haven't looked at it, but here it is. Street Sweeper 12 gauge. It comes stock with a 12 round mag. As you can see in the thumbnail, this is what she looks like. Not the prettiest thing in the world. It's just like a giant hunk of iron. Let's see how she sounds. Oh, no. I'm not moving my mouse at all. <laughs> there is no recoil. Oh, but it is slow. It is slow to reload. It is very slow to reload. Then again, how many bullets do you need for an engagement? Finish off one engagement, and you got plenty of time to reload for the next. That's me putting in all the bullets, not moving it at all. As with all shotguns, they have a tighter spread if you aim down sight. Let's see what this can do against some people. Now, granted, this isn't fully max level. And we'll have a, we'll have a video later on today, actually. We're going to do two videos as quick as we possibly can. We're going to be getting you guys a video of this gun max level later on tonight. So if you want to see that, make sure to subscribe. Like I said in the intro, I haven't seen anyone else pulling out this gun. So I'm not sure if I got lucky and I got a bug to have it unlocked. Only other person I've seen unlock it is Spiros, but if, uh, if you want to see the content first, make sure to subscribe here. So this is first impressions. I want to see what it looks like, and I'm also going to bring this into Alcatraz because it seems like it'd be a very fitting place, a lot of close-range engagements, to see exactly what this gun does. And then later on tonight, I'll show you a max level, how I want to kit out this gun and how it fares at max level. But as with most things, I'm going to mute that because it's much quieter as with most things in uh, call of duty when they add something new it tends to be pretty insane and so you should expect later on today with tonight's video you're going to see some nuts gameplay with the new aa12 Enemy soldier incoming. this is almost concerning how little recoil this has 
Oh no. Oh no, throw a choke on this. And this could be dangerous. Oh, this is where it thrives. Oh, no way. I only get three bullets. Enemy dropping into the AR. Shells. Enemy UAV overhead. Enemy UAV overhead. Okay, keep in mind, this doesn't have the choke. Enemy this doesn't have the extended barrel. Chad, this is straight out of the factory, and it's kind of nasty. I say chat. I mean YouTube. I'm so used to streaming. You should probably follow me over on Twitch if you're not already. Let me hit it with some stopping power rounds. Hit it with a quick. Oh, no. All right. So it looks like even just the base weapon is pretty exciting. It looks kind of weak at mid-range, but obviously it's a shotgun. I'm really afraid of people camping inside, going close quarters with stuff like that. What we're going to do right now is we're going to, like we mentioned in the intro to this video, we're going to jump over real quick and check this gun out in Cold War. And at the very least, take a look at what this gun might look like fully decked out. But the max level guide is not until later. Later today, we'll be doing a max level street sweeper guide. I'm going to show you how I would kit it out. I'm also going to show you some gameplay of me fragging out with it. So stay tuned for that. But right now, we're just taking first impressions, and we're going to see what the potentials are for all of the attachments. But right now, uh, unfortunately, it's looking pretty promising. See, I'm super worried because we have a custom lobby game coming up. It's Twitch Rivals, and where everyone's playing in custom lobbies, which often means people are going to play a little bit more conservative, be posting up a little bit more. And I'm really afraid that this gun might be the meta in that game because right now, if you've got a full squad... I don't even know if you need an extended drum on this thing because 12 will absolutely melt two players at least. And if you got your full squad running it, oh, please tell me. There, there can't be fire breath. There's no way Treyarch would do fire breath. Please don't want there to be fire breath. Dragon's breath. Oh. Keep in mind, Infinity Ward is the, are the people that made Modern Warfare. Treyarch has made all the previous games and they've mentioned in the past that they are going to... um. They're going to vault some weapons. So some weapons will not make it in. Keep my shotguns in this game or secondaries. We have it. The Street Sweeper. So Treyarch has mentioned in the past that they will vault weapons and vault certain mechanics that they don't like as the game progresses on. So hopefully things like Dragon's Breath will be vaulted. Hopefully Dead Silence and Stopping Power will be too, but that's a conversation for another day. Let's see what we can do. All right, so we can throw a few different optics on there. Wouldn't expect anything else other than these. You know, just a couple couple red dots. Muzzle. A choke to make a wider spread. We don't want that. Muzzle flash concealment. Don't care. Muzzle flash concealment. But it hurts the damage range. Keep in mind, this can all be different as it's imported into Warzone. Stats for Warzone are different than they are in Cold War. So that likely would give us increased range as it does. Once again, another increased ADS spread. Wow, a 50% muzzle flash concealment. Interesting. The choke is giving it a wider pellet spread. But why? I want a tighter bullet spread. The agency choke. Hit fire accuracy, ADS spread. What is happening here? What is happening here? All right, we're gonna have to we're gonna have to jump in here and look, and look at this together and see what exactly if our if our spread is being narrowed or maybe it, it could be in here. It could be in here. So we have increased damage range as we'd expect. Vehicle damage, not really caring about that. Damage range and fire rate. Effective damage range. Fire rate. And then just straight up seventy two percent damage. Now, keep in mind, these don't translate 100% to Warzone. Increased damage for here does not necessarily transfer over to increased damage from Warzone. We're going to have to test all those numbers. These ones are all pretty standard. Hit fire accuracy, reveal distance, uh, reveal distance, hit fire accuracy, reveal distance, hit fire accuracy. Yeah, that's all. We've all seen those. 
a 15 round as opposed to a 12 round, but at the cost of slower reload. And then a 18 round, once again, at the cost of reload quickness. I wonder if in Warzone that would affect your movement speed as well. But there is not a fast mag, and there are no like faster reload perks like there are in Warzone. So I'm this gun might actually be hindered a little bit. Speed tape is aim down sight time. Flinch resistance, aim while going prone, doesn't matter in Warzone. Flinch resistance, aim down sight time and flinch resistance. Faster aim down sight time, aim down sight and flinch resistance. I'm curious about stock. Is there a no stock? There is. Faster walk moving speeds, faster sprint to fire speed, faster slide speed. 40% faster sprint to fire time. That's huge because shotguns and boards don't have a terrible sprint to fire time. So this is almost going to be a guaranteed. Shooting moving speed, aim walking speed, and then shoot moving speed, sprint to fire time, aim walking speed, shooting moving speed. But that's going to cost us hip fire accuracy, which we don't want to sacrifice our spread. So I wonder, and we'll have to we'll have to jump in and just kind of get get a first impression and see if hip fire accuracy. See, no stock affects hip fire accuracy. So I'm wondering if hip fire accuracy will affect our choke or not. Because let's see what these do. Let's see what these do. A wider bullet spread, and this is a plus forty percent ADS spread. So it's different verbiage, and I'm wondering if that means. That one actually genuinely widens it, and the other one makes it tighter. So we'll do all three real quick, just for the YouTube. Secondary. And then this one will go all the way to agency choke. Okay, so for this, by the way, gotta whip out the controller for this one. Been playing uh too much comp on Cold War. By the way, if you want to get your uh, your hands on a scuff, the reason I'm able to do all these 360s slide no slide cancels is because of the paddles on the back of this controller, which allow me to move, aim, etc., without ever having to take my hand off the joysticks like that. So this is stock, and we'll just line up right past the shovel on the shovel line each time. We'll do hip fire up here. And aim down sight here. So as with all Call of Duties, your hip fire is much tighter whenever you aim down sight. And the hip fire is a little bit wider. But I'm not really worried. You know, okay, that's what we know for like our base. Alright, so same spot now. Yeah, we can already tell. Notice how it's going more left to right. So this one indeed is a wider pellet spread, which I really don't see the benefit of. Because ideally, you would want more of a vertical spread. Because if you're shooting someone, you want as many of those pellets to hit on target as possible. It still gets pretty tight when you aim down sight. But what I really want to see is the choke. The suppressor. Ideally, that actually will help us out. Because right now, that other suppressor... I think that's what we're looking for. I feel like that's much tighter than the very first one we pulled out. Yes, indeed it is. Okay, so... I'm glad we figured that out. I was a little worried about the verbiage, but it does look like the agency suppressor will give us that increased damage range and give us a much, much tighter bullet spread. I mean... With a little bit of aim assist, that's going to fry. Throw the increased damage range on there. Even if you've got really solid aim and you're just swinging a corner... That's a really tight spread. Okay, so Agency Suppressor is the way to go. We're going to talk about that later tonight in our max level sweet Street Sweeper video. But that wraps it up for now. We've got our first impressions. The gun looks pretty dang solid. Uh, and I'm excited to see what it can do once it's fully max level. I'll get that content out for you later tonight. But uh, it's kind of nice to, to get your hands on a new weapon. We've had so much new content call, coming to Call of Duty. And uh, I'm glad to have this one join the ranks. At least for YouTube content. If it plagues my gameplay, then uh, 
then, well, you'll see that over on Twitch. So make sure to follow me on Twitch. Links in the description. Ladies and gentlemen, hope you enjoyed today's video. If you want to catch all of the gameplay live, make sure to follow me over on YouTube. Or if you want to catch all of your news, make sure to subscribe on YouTube. If you want to catch me live, make sure to follow me over on Twitch where I can uh, screw up these outros live. So I'll see you over there. Peace.